Hey guys, it's Knight Rider 7602 here, and I'm back for another review. Yes, finally, the first review I've done in like forever. And we're going to talk about Power Ranger Samurai. Okay, Super Samurai, whatever, Samurai, it's the same thing, whatever. Same thing, whatever. Anywho, I like this season. This season was pretty good, and it stuck close to it to its Japanese counterparts. Unlike other seasons, which tend to bend, bend the Sentai a bit, this one stuck close. I mean, name even some of the names were like the same. You had Dayu, you had you had like Master G. They were like the only two characters that actually retained that had their names from their original series. I guess because the names are easier to pronounce, whatever. So, quick explanation of the plot. Centuries ago, the evil villains or monsters known as Nylock escaped, and five samurai rangers managed to put them back and seal them away forever. However, the Nylocks rise again, and it's up to a new group of heroes to take them down. They are the Power Ranger Samurai. I like this. The narration in the beginning is really good, and it doesn't always lead into the theme song, which I like. So, let's talk about the Rangers. You have Jaden, who's the leader, the Red Ranger. He's mostly the one who focuses on trying to stop Master Xandric's plans. He acts most. He acts like Takeru from the series, from the Sentai. He's... He's calm, he's collective, he doesn't rush into battle, and I like his character, and he's a good natured character. His acting, the, the character's acting for the actor, eh, it's okay. You got Kevin the Blue Ranger, who is like Ryunosuke. Yeah, he sticks to his thing, except that instead of Kabuki, he does swimming. That's not a problem. They're not in Japan. They're in some kind of... I feel like they're in an American city, but they're not. It's in New Zealand. That's where all the other Ranger series are being filmed in New Zealand. They used to do it here in America. Mike the Green Ranger is kind of most like the lazy bun the One of the laziest characters. Not lazy as in, like, development. He's one of the lazy people. Doesn't want to do his training too much. He spends time playing video games. Mia, the self-proclaimed cook, is headstrong and a pretty level-headed at points, but... She really can't cook, man. You got Emily the country girl. She's super cheery and happy. That somewhat bothers me a little bit. I don't know. And you got Antonio, the gold ranger. Who uses... He doesn't use gold puns. He keeps just saying golden and golden spotlight and gold this and gold that. He's a fisherman. I don't mind. Like I said, they're all... Like, the obvious changes were made just because they're not in Japan, obviously. The gold, Antonio doesn't sell sushi. The Blue Ranger doesn't do kabuki. I know there's something that the Pink Ranger did, but it was really weird. I don't, I don't think, I don't know what it was. Anyways, before we get into the good, let's talk about the bad. The bad. Splitting this into two seasons. That's a major point. People were just baffled by this. Power Ranger Samurai already had its problems from the start. It already started a few episodes ahead. They started like on episode 3, not on episode 1. So, what happened? They continued on with the series. And Saban realized, uh-oh, we fucked up. We need to do episodes 1 and 2. What were we going to do? Simple. They only they released episodes 1 and 2 in an episode called Origins. This would have worked if they had, like, one of those individual flashbacks. Kind of like, um, RPM kind of thing. Like, RPM. So, I feel like that was kind of like an RPM thing. Like, they they didn't do, like, the first episode or of the Sentai. Or rather, they developed the characters or how they got their powers. Another thing, putting it on hiatus. I'm not sure what the problem was with that. I don't know what was going on. Uh, Saban's probably was trying to get more rights to the Sentai footage, and if that was the case, then by all means, do whatever you need to do, man, because not many people watch Power Rangers Samurai or Power Rangers in general just to say, oh, dude, they're adding the Sentai footage here, or this looks like this Sentai episode. Many people are into the action thing. I don't mind. Mega mode. I don't understand. Like, what? what is the purpose of mega mode? This has nothing to do with anything. The Mega Mode looks like added on armor. I thought at first when I saw the Mega Mode that it was going to be like the Battleizers or something. And I'm like, this is confusing. I don't think the Battleizers are supposed to look like that. It's supposed to be like that, that, um, that jacket get up. 
that sleeveless jacket thing. Like the thing Jaden has on in the picture right here. So I was like, what the heck is going on here? This makes no sense. I would get into another problem, but that's going to be later on. What the heck? Vulcan Skull. Vulcan Spike. See, I got so used to saying Vulcan Skull, but it's Vulcan Spike. Vulcan Skull are not in this season. Uh, it's Bulk and Skull's, like, son, Spike, who has the most annoying laugh ever. And don't get me wrong. I love Bulk. I love the antics that they do throughout the series. I'm a big fan of them. I'm a big fan of what they did and what they did in Countdown to Destruction. I just don't like Spike. Basically, the plot, the subplot for them is, instead of trying to figure out who the Rangers are, they're trying to be Samurai. I'm, I'm not even sure why they want to be Samurai. I guess they saw the Rangers in action. And then there's, a, there's another subplot where Spike falls in love with the Pink Ranger, but it's not really touched up on. Another thing is, you got... There are multiple, like, weird things that happen in the series, and I'm not even sure if I can explain them. It's just bloody odd. Well, either way, the villains for the season are well-developed, and I like them. Hey, even Ricardo Mendina actually used, went back to his ranger role kind of thing and did a villain. He played Decker, the samurai, the evil samurai and kind of Jaden's rival for the season. I like Decker. Decker was one of my favorite characters in the Sentai. Because he's not like with the villains. He's just like, I don't look, I'm just looking for a fight. I'm looking for a strong fighter. And I like the fact that they they changed up Dayu's backstory. Because originally Dayu's backstory was her fiancé cheated on her. And I believe she burns down the building. And even in death, the fiancé chose to be with the mistress. And she grabbed him and the spirit of the guy went into a... Uh, it's a, uh, what the hell is that instrument she plays? It's, it's a shamisen or something, but I think they, they changed it in the American one. It's called a harmonia. I don't even know what that is anymore, but I like it. I like the weapons. I like Dayu's weapon. It's like a, it's the harmonia, but it doesn't shoot any lasers, which was kind of disappointing for me, but it does have like a hidden blade. So there you go. Master Zandrik was out of action for a few, for a lot of the series. He doesn't come out to like the main end of the series. Mainly because he can't get out of the, he can't get in the real world without without himself drying up, and when he does do that, he dries up and had to be like put under for a while. Serrator, I don't even I don't, I don't know man I don't think I like Serrator that much. He he wasn't that much of a good villain to me. I personally was a fan. I liked Dayu, Zandrig, and Decker. And no, I do not want to restart. Restart later. There. Where was I? Yeah, the villains. Like I said, I liked them. The monsters were all good. They all stuck to their characters from the Sentai. Which means that Saban is like, dude, we have to learn from our past mistakes. People didn't like Once a Ranger, and people didn't like certain seasons, because we didn't make it too hard to the Sentai. Saban's like, dude, let's, make, let's do this right. First time back in the business, let's do it right. And they delivered. Except for the whole splitting the two seasons and uh, breaks. I don't even know what the whole is that about. Anyways. I like our heroes. Each character stuck to their Sentai counterpart. Hey, even Mentor. Even Me Master G. I, I like G. He's pretty awesome. And he has a motorcycle. I wish he wrote... I wish we would have seen him... like a, a, Even like a side American episode where he enters a motorcycle race or something. That would have been awesome. I, I like the fact that he was a motorcyclist. Another problem I have with the series is, and hitting the nail on the head, the freaking team-up with RPM. This was the worst team-up I think I've ever watched in a while. I don't even know what happened to the other actors for RPM, but they seem to got back, or they seem to got back Aaron Eckerd, I think, I think that's his name, to, uh, that plays Scott. And boy, oh boy, that people complain. I mean, seriously, people are like, that's not how Scott fights. Scott doesn't fight like that. Scott doesn't doesn't act like all cocky and stuff. And people's answer? They were using the Sentai footage. In the Sentai, the Red Ranger for RPM was kind of a bit of a 
hyperactive, goody, good, not goody get tissues, like hyperactive and kind of cocky, as much as I want, I hate to say the word. But enough of that. They split, they put in two movies, the, the team up movie and their separate movie. Bad idea. I didn't like the team up. It, it should have been better. I wish we would have seen what the other Rangers, what happened to the other Rangers. For all we know, they went to the, it seemed like they went to Corinth and they came back, oh, your team said hi. Really? God damn it. This, that was a fail of a season. That was a fail of a movie. That was a, that was a waste of a movie. I'm so, I feel bad for the people who went out and bought the movie for their child saying, this movie's going to be great and it sucked ass. I'm sorry, it sucked ass. Another, even it's a minor nitpick, but the female Red Ranger does not have her mentor. In the Sentai, Karu has a mentor, and he's kind of an ass to the others. He's mostly an ass to um Genta and to Genta in the Sentai, the Gold Ranger. He's mostly an ass to him because he's like, you're not a real samurai. You don't even like, you don't have the powers they have. You've made your powers. They have their powers passed down to them. Like he pretty much like cut him down to size. Or, like, cut him down, like, even smaller. In the American version, Lauren comes in, and she doesn't cut everybody down. Jaden just, like, has a full-on emo trip and leaves. Eventually having that sweet-ass fight with Decker. I love that fight. I actually managed to stay and watch the episode, and I watched that fight. I was like, boom, Sentai footage, Sentai footage, Sentai footage, Sentai footage. Everything was super close to the Sentai footage, and I was like... Oh my god, am I actually watching Samurai or am I watching Shinkencha right now? That was badass. A lot of people were making jokes like, Oh, once Deku's defeated, he's going to go back to Cole and become the Red Ranger. That would have been awesome. I actually like that idea. Now, the ending. The ending stuck true to the Sentai. Xandric comes out and Xandric fucks shit up. I mean, the Rangers get beaten up. The ceiling symbol doesn't work. The Shiba fire disc doesn't work. This guy, w this villain's like fucking, like fuck you guys, fuck your weapons. I'm just gonna blow right through you, and there's nothing you guys can do about it. You know, I just feel like I'm missing a character. I don't even know who, but whatever. The fight itself mimics itself perfectly from Shinkenger. All the Rangers stand and they fight Zandric to their last breath. I mean, hell, it was the first time I watched a series of the Power, a series of the Power Rangers where. The Zord itself, the inside of the Zord is fucked up. I mean, the, there's stuff all over the ground. The Rangers are falling everywhere. The Rangers are demorphed. And it was like a really heartfelt ending because Jaden's like, dude, this is it. This is the final battle. We have to end this. One strike, one Zord if we have to. He's going down. And boy, that they live up to it. Big ass explosion. The villains are defeated, and that stupid octopus guy, I, I don't even acknowledge him as a villain person, because he doesn't really do much. He does nothing throughout that series, honestly. And he, do, he will not do shit in Megaforce. He's going to get his ass kicked by the pirates. Well, unless they decide to do that whole thing where the Rangers have to change their suits and all that. Final analysis, I give it a B. Yeah, it's a B. B plus. Let's put it that way. B plus. I liked it. There were some things in the series I wish they didn't do, like the whole splitting of the up the split and the whole taking breaks thing, and the team up. But those are kind of those are well those are big. Samurai makes up for it in what they did for footage. I mean, wow, Samurai really did do their best. Saban did their best. Even though they fucked up in the end and released the two episode, the final episode on Netflix, via why I managed to watch it, via why I actually watched it early so I could get my thoughts in. Also, it's kind of touching to see the ending where everybody's gonna go. Kevin's gonna go do Olympics. Mia's gonna finally take some cooking classes. Mike and Emily are together, and so on and so forth. It's beautiful. I love the ending. Especially because Bulk and Skull reunite for one scene, and it's freaking awesome. Well, that's Power Ranger Samurai. What can I say? I love the series. Hate that it had to be split, and I hate that it went on break. 
hey, at least it didn't go on for six episodes and then release their sixth ranger and then have to go on break. Yes, I'm looking at you, Mega Force. That's already two points down for you. You better hope your Shinkenger, I hope your Samurai team up special is good. You, you better be ready, Mega Force. And you better be ready, Pirate Season, if you're ever going to do it. Because one, many flaws are going to be found by me and other fans. And I'm going to pick them out. So be prepared, guys. Hope you like this review. I have a few more minutes to spare with you guys. A minute or two to spare with you guys. So, I love the theme song. It's a good throwback to um, Ron Wasserman's version of Go Go Power Rangers. I'm just really hoping that Megaforce does the right thing and bring in the Go Kaiser suits for Season 2. Or they make it a separate season. That's actually better for me. And all in all, I just can't wait for Megaforce and see what they're going to do there. Actors and everything are ready. So, be prepared, 2013, which is this now. Alright guys, be back soon for another review. Night Raider 7602, signing out. Peace.